I like the flip. I gotta do that again. Whoa! It's gonna kill me. Flip ah. boy. Yeah! Four minifigures. Will it fly? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and this is part two of the drone that we just flew earlier. So thank you so much again to Changda. He actually got this as a gift for me. So it wasn't for us to play with, but it was actually a gift for me. So thank you so much for that. And well, you guys saw the unboxing and the playtest. So this is the detailed video. I won't take too long, so let's just jump right into it. So what you're seeing here is Brick a Drone from Playable. 54 pieces. It's got one key return, an HD camera, Wi-Fi transmission, barometer set height, app control, for light plan. It's got a lot of little functions for this little boy, huh? Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the design itself. Now, the sad part is, is that somewhere in my office, it's one of the legs, I'm missing the leg here. I don't know, I, somehow when we were flying it together, it just kind of disappeared. So it's somewhere around here in the office. Now, these are definitely much thicker than the Lego piece. This, this is an actual Lego piece, but you can see this stud part is actually sticking out a lot more on this other brand. And that's probably to make it more secure while it's been in the sky. Okay, what you're seeing here in my hand is an official. This is official Lego blocks, the black ones, studs. And I'm gonna actually replace them and see if they fit onto here. Okay, it does fit onto there, but it's really loose. Like if I barely touch it, it'll just fall out. So Lego doesn't quite fit on the bottom going up, but does it fit on the top? Hey, look at that. It fits on the top, that means we can try to see how much weight this drone can actually lift off. It does have an HD camera inside, but it looks like crap because it's so small. It'll look all weird on the, you, you saw the footage before, you're gonna see more now, but it's gonna look really, really weird. But hey, it's got a camera on there, so hey, you can film and practice with this if you're interested in getting the bigger boys. But for now, just consider this as a play toy. And it has these little barrier things here. These are really, really flimsy, but after playing it last time, I noticed it can actually just bump into the wall and it'll just like grind against the wall and it won't flip over or do anything crazy. So, you know, it's, it's good to have that on. Keep that on, don't take it off. It does come with extra blades. For brick, you can almost see that there's not that many pieces to put together. It's just a propeller and a body. So it's not too much of a DIY thing. Uh, the Velcro thing, I understand they had to put it on because when you whack this thing around, it's probably gonna be flimsy and, and fall apart on you. But I would have preferred it just to be off because, you know, you wanted to make it as Lego as you can. So I'm certified, we don't need the Velcro. And if it falls off, then we know it wasn't built that great. So we've seen the controller already. You control it with these right here. These ones are extra features. It has a feature called headless mode, which is facing front with the camera, and the controls will always stay the same no matter how you rotate it. That to me is kind of scary. Just practice it wherever the camera's facing and get familiar with normal controls. Headless is gonna be really weird, so. You know, unless you're a pro, you can go and do it. And then of course you have these little buttons here, down here, more directional pads, controls, and those are just to help you trim out if the thing is floating all over the place. You can control it and get it back into your hovering space. And you have a return to home. And you got all these crazy buttons up here, like flips and all that kind of stuff. All right, so there's no on and off here. It's just the, the cable, the battery going directly into the drone. And I can tell you right now, it only flies for a couple minutes, even when you charge it after an hour. I think I got only like five minutes of flying time. It's really, really, really short. So, you know, just be aware of that. There it goes. Whoa, it's flying all over the place. Blowing everything away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, man? Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna... Bang it into my lights now. See if I can flip this thing. Here, flip. Won't oh, let me flip, why? Whoa, it flipped! Did you see that? Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Let's do that again. Whoa, you see that? That's crazy, that's so cool. I didn't even know they can do that. That was the coolest thing ever. Oh. Oh, I just lost another landing thing. But hey, I crashed it and everything and it's still together. You didn't really need the Velcro, but you do need to kind of push the bricks back in again, just to make sure that they're safe. And then we're gonna turn this back on. Yeah, you can probably bump it into your head. No, I, don't do that. Don't, just be safe and just keep it away from you. But the, the guards are actually pretty good. You can see I'm like, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, it didn't really hurt me, but yeah, you gotta be careful. Now once they come back and attack me, don't attack me. Oh, where are you going? 
Oh, I saw the propeller break off. Oh, but it just pops right back on. That's easy. Oh. Well, there's a lot of more other features on here, like flight path, you can control like how you want it to fly, where you want it to go. I don't know if it will really do that. It's kind of out of control right now. I'm gonna land it first. And then let's put on a minifigure. Let's fly the minifigures. Can we fly the boxer? We sure can. Oh, he's heavy though. Look, it drops. Should we flip him? Let's flip him. Whoa, flip. Can we carry two minifigures? One in the front, one face in the back. Whoa, it's like super heavy. Barely, man. Whoa. Can we flip them? Oh, crashed into my monitor. Okay, we'll try to flip right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I just destroyed it. Did I break it? See? Ran out of batteries already. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, I think that's the only thing I really kind of sucks about this. The battery runs out really, really fast, especially if I'm putting weight on it. So when I have to keep turning off the camera and all that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna turn it back on. So let's see if we can put four minifigures on here. Probably draining faster because I'm putting so much weight on them now. So we got two more minifigures here and I got the wider camera angle there so you guys can see this hopefully. Ready for lift off? Oh uh, yeah, we got four minifigures on there. Check that out. Can she flip? Whoa. A little bit heavy. Yeah, we got the flip with four minifigures on here. Two flips. Okay, we're gonna land it because the battery's gonna run out really, really fast. Let's, let's load this sucker up with more stuff on here. What can we put on here? What can we put? Come on, dear. What can we put? Can we fly a whale? This is so random, I love it. I'm gonna put these, the landing gears on the whale. Fly whale, free wheelie. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Who else wants to be a victim? And by the way, the whale's really light, so and it can't carry the whale, so I think this is probably gonna be the maximum amount of minifigs we can actually fly. Goodbye, boys. See you in a while. Whoa, it's a little heavy, but we can do it. Yeah. Minifigs to the rescue. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoa, oh, he crashed into the barbershop. Well, that was really fun. So this is Brick a Drone from Playbo. They're based here in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna put their link in the description. You can probably go there and find out how much it costs. This was a gift, so I don't know how much it was. And I think they sell it in Toys R Us too. So, and you might be able to find it online. And maybe I should sell it, I'm not sure. It's pretty light, the controller's really light. Most important is that it works. It does tons of flips for you. It's fun to just bang around in the room. Be careful if you do fly it outdoors and just have some fun with this. So until next time, guys, brick me out. Whee! Thank you so much, guys, for liking Scotty's YouTube channel. He really, really appreciates it. So please comment more, subscribe, and like. I will take you on another journey soon. And don't forget, subscribe here, watch the other videos here, and watch even more videos you might not have seen over here. So take care, you guys. I love you so much. Please come back. Don't leave me here. I'm suffocating with this guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. No.